Number 23. A pogo stick has a spring with a force constant of 2.5 times 10 to the 4 newtons per meter, which can be compressed 12 centimeters. To what maximum height can a child jump on the stick using only the energy in the spring if the child and stick have a total mass of 40 kilograms? All right. So there's two uh, it states right to the system. There's an initial state in which the spring is fully compressed, right? So all the energy is stored within the spring. And then the final state, since they're asking me for the maximum height that can be obtained, the final state will then be the tallest point, right, that the child in pogo stick reaches, all right? So those are the two frames. So basically, if you think about this, right, if the uh, child with the pogo stick reaches their highest point, what is their velocity at the highest point? Remember, it's a vertical free fall problem, essentially, once they become uh, airborne. Remember, the highest, since it's purely vertical, uh, the highest point correlates to zero velocity, all right, in the y direction. And therefore, there is no kinetic energy at this point. It's purely what? In terms of energy, it's purely gravitational. So essentially, we have all spring energy initially, all gravitational energy finally. So let's set that up, right? So basically, whatever energy is initial has to equal final. And since it's spring initial and gravitational final, I can create this formula. So I can basically say the potential ener the energy of the spring is equal to, and therefore is converted to, the potential energy due to gravity. All right, so I'm looking at these two formulas. This is gravitational, this is spring. So now what I'm gonna do is expand these two terms, all right? So for the spring, it's one half, <clears throat> times the force constant multiplied by the compression uh, squared equals then mgh. And what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for the height here, right? I'm looking for that height. So therefore, how do I solve for height? We'll simply divide out mg from both sides. And here's our formula, that the height will equal one half times the force constant times the compression squared all over mg. And there's the formula. So all we gotta do now is just plug in. So here, the height will equal 1 half times k, which they gave to us as 2.5 times 10 to the 4. So 2.5 times 10 to the 4, multiplied then by the compression. Now remember, this has to, it, they gave it to us in centimeters, that's 12 centimeters, uh, but we need it in meters. So simply just move that decimal two places to the left, or just divide it by 100, either way. So that's going to be 0.12 squared all divided by the mass, right, of the system of the child in the pogo stick, so that's 40 kilograms they gave to us over here, and then multiplied by g, which is 9.80. So now all we have to do is plug it into the calculator. So 0.5 times 2.5 times 10 to the fourth times 0.12 squared divided by parenthesis 40 times 9.8. And it works out to be a height of 0 0.459, right? four, five, nine, and that's in terms of meters. So just about a half a meter. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.